I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Sunday morning. It's the 18th of February, 2024. And this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, and I am reading verse 13. For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, fear not, I will help you. What a beautiful promise. And then we go straight to the book of John, the gospel of John, chapter 16, and I'm reading verse 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. We need to understand we have nothing to fear. The Lord is with us always. He is in our very hearts. So we have nothing whatsoever to be afraid of today. You know that little Zulu preacher, his name was William Duma since gone to be with the Lord, he had an incredible relationship with the Holy Spirit. And the story goes that one day he was traveling on a bus, going to an appointment, driving through the cane fields, sugar cane fields of KwaZulu-Natal. The bus was full of people. He was sitting in the front seat just behind the driver. And he felt the Holy Spirit tell him to get off the bus immediately. And so he did not hesitate. He stood up and he told the driver, you must stop the bus. I have to get off. The bus driver was very angry with him. Why do you want to stop in the middle of nowhere? I have to get off the bus immediately. The bus driver stopped the bus. The people were quite irate. They wanted to get to their destination. They let the little preacher get off the bus with his small suitcase and away the bus roared down the road, clouds of dust following it. And he stood alone in the sugarcane fields wondering, Lord, why do you want me here? Do you know, folks, that that bus only went maybe one or two kilometers down the road and had a head-on collision with another vehicle. And the very place where William Duma was sitting was crushed. He would have been killed. The Holy Spirit is with us always. He is our helper. We need to listen to his inner voice speaking to us on a day-to-day basis. When he speaks to you in your heart, listen to him. He's here to help you. Jesus bless you, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.